So talking cap rates today, cap rate is a really useful tool in calculating the valuation of a potential investment property or condo. So I'm gonna run through a quick back of the envelope, two different scenarios, assuming the purchase of a two unit property. Let's say unit one, unit two. Based on comparables, we believe unit one can rent at $2,500 a month. Unit two being on the top floor, let's say $2,900 a month. And then in order to get your gross annual income, you take the sum of those and multiply it by 12. So you have $64,800 in gross annual income. In order to get to your bottom line or your net operating income or NOI, you have to figure out what your expenses are gonna be. A good rule of thumb uh, is typically to apply 30% of your gross annual income to determine what your annual expenses are going to be. So you have about $19,440 in gross annual expenses, and then you can calculate your net operating income. In doing so, you take your gross annual income less your gross annual expenses, to get down to $45,360. This is all before your debt service, but is the way to evaluate what the property is gonna produce from a return standpoint. So once you have your net operating income, you can apply a cap rate based on your market understanding um, and what similar properties have traded for. For this example, let's say it's a West Town purchase where similar properties are trading around 7% cap rate. So what you do is you take your net operating income, divide that by 0 0.07 or 7% to get your property value. So based on those two units, their income, less expenses, and applying a 7% cap rate, it would lead me to believe that the property should be valued around $648,000. On another hand, we can evaluate this, let's say if a property is listed for sale, um, we can determine what the cap rate is based on the listing. So let's say this property listing price is 800,000 for round numbers. So based on those initial assumptions that we had $2,500 a month and $2,900 a month, getting down to your net operating income of 45360 you can determine what the cap rate of this offering is. In order to do so, you have to take your net operating income, divide that by the listing price, and that gives you a percentage. After doing so, the cap rate comes out to 5.67. Conventional wisdom is that if you're investing your money in the stock market or your 401k, you should expect to receive between seven and 10%. So that would lead me to believe that the owner may be a bit unrealistic in his listing price of 800,000 and potentially advise a client to take a look at it from scenario number one, where it shows that based on comparables and what we think we can produce from a net operating income standpoint, that the property is likely valued around 648, 650,000. I like to do this back of the envelope just to give my clients a better idea as to what my opinion of an investment property's value might be and give them just a very um, kind of broad understanding of how cap rates function in the real estate market.